Today's video, we're going to be checking out the Funko Rick and Morty figures as we have a look today at Rick. So just how tall is Rick? Well, let's grab the tape measure. He stands, if you count the top of his hair, he stands at five and a half inches tall. Now these figures each have a Build-A-Figure piece in which when you finish, you can get yourself Snowball in his mech suit. In this case, Rick here comes with one of the arms for Snowball. Doesn't really have any posability at all. You can see where it pegs in when we eventually get the torso going. Nice paint, it's got some silver, it's got a little bit of blue there going as well. Overall, looking forward to getting Snowball put together. We'll put that to the side for the time being. Rick also comes with a couple of different accessories, one of which being his little flask, which then is just painted in silver here. He also comes with his teleporter gun, which kind of almost has a slight cream Maybe off-white color. A nice paint there in the green at the top as well as some green little buttons, little knobs there on the front there as well. Certainly has come in handy for Rick, that's for sure. You can take the teleporter gun and just put it into his hand. And as well, you can also take the little flask. You can also put that into his hand as well. Uh, they both sit actually quite easily. He holds both quite easily. I suppose one thing though, the way his arms bend, they only have a hinge in the elbow, and you can rotate the hand. So unfortunately, it always looks like the teleporter's pointing upward, as opposed to being able to point forward. So I kind of wish that, it's not really much they could have done about that, but you know, obviously, it, it, I guess you could kind of have his arm more angled downward, so it looks like he's shooting it this way, rather than up. Obviously, we'll be displaying Rick with the teleporter gun. We'll just put that over there. And we'll just move the little flask out of the way as well. So let's get a let's have a look at Rick. So this set, this series of figures, has five figures. And there's like Rick, Morty, Mr. Me Me Seeks, Mr. Poopy Butthole, and Bird Person. And then each one of them, like I said, does come with a little build piece. So you can build yourself a snowball in the mech suit. So really, really cool. These are really actually fairly hard to find. I had to go to, I think I checked out a couple of stores because I wanted to get them. And uh, of all places, EB Games uh, here in Canada ended up having them. And luckily, they had the whole set. So we're going to be looking at those in the next couple of videos. Yay! We're going to be looking at Rick and Morty figures. So overall, like, he looks good. I think he's got a good sculpt on his face. He's got a little bit of that kind of burping, kind of slime coming out of his mouth here. Uh, facial expression. I think fits perfectly for Rick. He's also got the little bald spot on the back. Uh, he's got his jacket and of course his shirts, pants. The belt looks like it's a little worn on paint, but I don't know if that's deliberate. Um, the jacket itself is like a rubbery plastic. I suppose you could take it off, but you know, like these sleeves, they'll still be there. There's no sense in taking the jacket off, but at least I like that it's a soft rubber. Now, I find Rick, surprisingly, does have a tough time standing. Um, I, you kind of have to keep playing around with his feet to get him to properly, to properly stand upright. And sometimes when I think he's standing fine, before I know, pff, he'll fall right over. I kind of hoped, and this is one instance where I kind of hoped that they actually had peg holes on the undersides of their feet. So even if Rick did have a tough time standing... You know, you could get yourself like a display stand going or something. I don't know if it's basically because of his head or the, the just the fact that he's just a straight upright figure that's causing him to topple over. But his feet does his feet don't seem like they sit all that flat. In fact, even when you straighten the feet, you'll see that they kind of they kind of angle slightly as opposed to and there's no there's no ankle pivot anything that you can alter the. Uh, how flat the feet stand. They always seem to kind of stand or kind of sit on an angle. 
which means like the figure itself just has a struggle at times to standing upright. So peg holes, Funko could have gone a long way. Maybe if you release a series two, I hope they do. Peg holes probably could be something that they incorporate in their future figures. Uh, for his posability, let's run through that. His head is on a ball joint, so it does hinge up and down. You can rotate it all the way around. The arms hinge outward, as well as rotate those all the way around. He has a bend in the elbow. He has a rotation in the hand. Doesn't seem to have anything in the waist. And then his legs split outward, uh, slightly forward and back, a bend at the knee. And you can also rotate basically where his sock meets the, uh, the bottom of his pants. You can rotate those legs, those feet, all the way around. Dig in the look of Rick. I think he looks really good. I like the accessories that he comes with. There's certainly the added draw that they give you a Build-A-Figure component. So, you know, if you were lucky enough to build, get all five figures, you get yourself Snowball in mech suits, which I can't wait to get put together. Uh, again, a little harder to find these figures, but I think if you can find them and you're a Rick and Morty fan, I would definitely say pick them up. Today, we were having a look at the first figure from a series of videos to come as we're having a look at the Snowball Build-A-Figure Wave. We're looking today at Rick and Morty's Rick. If you guys like this video, certainly hit it with a like. And if you are big fans of Rick and Morty, there's a playlist on this channel specifically for Rick and Morty fans. So check that out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching, guys, as you always do. See you next time.